Hey yo to everyone, very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replay today with a TVC on Echo Letter Edition. And yeah, let's jump right into the introduction. We got spawning as the blue Zerg in the left top corner of Echo. It is Daddy. And his opponent is always me. The red Terran spawning in the right bottom corner of Echo, Alex Usher. Yeah, I. <laughs> that would have been German right now. I wanted to say wunderschön because I just recorded some uh, Battle of Battle for Middle Earth two sessions, and therefore my brain is still working a little bit in German, I guess. But that's fine. That's fine. So, yeah, not many games played on Echo so far, at least for me. And so we will see how this goes. Uh, I have no clue what happened in this game. Really, normally I have a clue or uh, I know something or I even remember but not this time sorry to say not this time uh, but we got the 12 wrecks and the 12 gas for me and it looks like Daddy is going for uh, maybe a spawning pool because oh no there's the hatchery on the way I guess okay that's fine is the timing off? No, the timing is pretty good, I would say. Pretty damn good. Yeah. Uh, Overlord spawning around. I guess this one scouted for proxy Rex. I'm not sure. Maybe. Yeah, I guess so. That's nice. Proxy Rex could also be here, of course. So, but he's fine for now. There are no watchtowers on that map. But I guess you got cooling towers. That's nice. Um, you can open a second pathway or you go the whole way around which is really long way yeah so I like those rocks that that's nice that this this deep debris 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 rocks debris here okay uh, yeah the cooling tower definitely if you're taking your third uh, you should close down those cooling towers I guess depends a little bit on the game of course but it can't it can't be wrong to take those down generally I would say so we got a reaper on the way uh, there's the overlord scouting that there will be a command center in production right now and the reaper is on his way we'll scout everything we got gas mine for daily just starting now so Speed will take quite some time until it will be researched and finished. Uh, there are four circlings and two queens coming. You can be fine with that. Some sir oh, carefully there. Some circ are going for six circlings, which is also fine. Um, two would be definitely too less, but with four circlings you're fine. Oh, that's that's nice. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Oh, I wanted. Okay. So. Yeah, he isn't producing gas, and I, I guess, and it looks like, yeah, now, did I see it? I'm not quite sure if I saw it. Eh, could have, could have. I'm not quite sure. So one Reaper stays back at home, there's a factory coming. The 5 minute command center, that's nice. As well as the reactor. So, will I, will I hit every single timing? That's the question. Now this overlord, not really super safe at that spot, but it's okay. Uh, switcheroo is going on and this means yeah command center the reaper pokes in again has definitely to go back soon because of the speed which could come out soon I don't, I don't know about that speed is that late but hey oh we got a Rotron pretty damn early normally you get a Rotron I would say at 620 not 550 so that's that looks like it could be some kind of bust because of the second gas as well um, if there is a third gas, you can assume a Roach Heavy play, I would say. Otherwise, it could be Roach Banes, but we will see. Uh, it depends a little bit on, on how the Zerg wants to be aggressive. And there we go with the starport. The Helgens are on the way, and I will see that there is no third base as well as here, if I, if I, if I want to scout that. Speed is finished, 7 roaches, so you can get those, but 8 roaches, I guess he's committing a lot. I mean 6 roaches 
would be the maximum amount of roaches you wanna have to defend against Helgens and Reaper. Oh, double Reaper scout. And I will see the roach warm. That's that's nice. Will I see the roaches as well? No. Uh, that's unfortunate. But now I see them with the circlings. It's not a huge amount. Ah, loses a Helgen there. And the Reaper. Okay, not the best one. But I got the scouting off. Uh, yeah, there's the Baneling Nest. And you see two gas Baneling Nest works fine. Uh, yeah, the wall off is completed. The Banshee is on its way to intercept those roaches and the circlings. There are not a lot of circlings, so those circlings have to be very fast. And uh, the Banshee is starting to attack there. Some SCVs for the counter repair. And oh, yeah, that's nice. Hit and run, hit and run. Just deal a little bit of damage, and I don't see Daddy breaking through there. I mean, he can focus one. Depot down, maybe, but it's not looking good so far. Oh, I lost a lot of Hellions here. That's not good here. Mm, he's not target firing anything. I mean, I'm losing some workers so far, but nothing big. Oh no, the SEVs on auto repair are oh, repairing the supply depot, but himself. Oh, that's not good. Now he's breaking through there. Morphing bandings on the ramp. Oh, that's a lot of pains there. The roaches. That's not looking good. The banes are finished. Two banshees. Uh, he's going up there as there are not many SCVs left to buff. And. <coughs> oh no! Those circlings are blocking the bailings, they can't explode and they're taking it down! Whoa! Some money shots from those Hellions! And there's not a lot much left there. The Banshees are dealing good damage. And. Uh, overall, just 10 SCVs lost so far. Which is quite even. The wall is. Oh, closed again and this factory is burning down. You will see that, but. Where are the Banshees? Oh, three Banshees so far at home. Uh, the factory, yeah, there we go, factory. Okay. Is gonna be repaired just in time. And the second engineering bay, definitely a good thing. And behind that, he's now taking the third place, but he's behind in supply. Even in workers, so that's a really rough spot, I would say. That's not looking good for him. Daddy is in a lot of trouble. Uh, the second bus. I mean, okay, there's a weak spot, the supply depot is pretty damn weak. Um, but, oh no, those, those Banshees are out of the map. Uh, that's looking... Mm, Hellions out of position! The command center will see it. Will I react to it, though? That's the big question. Ooh, oh, 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 oh! Oh, it's just in time, but it won't do much. The Banshees are rolling in. There are a lot of SUVs now. How many worker will go down? 10 went down so far. Good splits! So not many SCVs killed. And he wasted a lot of banelings there for almost nothing. He will get the supply at the engineering bay. Oh! It's burning down! Repair! Repair! No! Ah, that hurts. That hurts. But I would say I'm still fine. I, I got a worker lead. Behind that he's now going for the spire. Uh, but I guess he hasn't the gas yet. And going for the spire, the creeps were although not the best one. Still no third base at the 12 minute mark. That's that's really bad. But behind that, my macro is of course slipping as well. And the infrastructure not ready yet. Uh, I got the engineering base and the armory, but no upgrades. If you look at the upgrade tab, uh, just metabolic boost. Still not even researched yet. Just started like a minute ago. Uh, the Banshee's taken down another... De oh, they are denying really nicely, but I guess Mutalist will come out soon, as soon as the Spire finishes. But for now, I'm able to clear maybe a lot of creep. Maybe not. Uh, there was a drone. Oh, sneaky! Yeah, four Banshee's. They have no cloak yet, uh, but they don't need it, I would say. Not, not for now. And this drone, oh, sneaky base, okay. Behind that, the third base is going right good for me. It's just working quite nicely. And there we go. There isn't much left for daily. There's a scan. Uh, we'll clear the creep. Oh, cancelled. Yeah, denied. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. Scan will run out, so if I want to... Clear the creeper, I have to scan another one. Yeah, there we go. But Mutalists are out now, and that means those Banshees, their lifetime ended. He will lose a queen, maybe a second one. Oh no. Uh, but loses 
one, two more drones. Oh, that was a panic pull there. Uh, bunker is going down. So yeah, plus one, plus one finishes right now, or pretty damn soon. I got a good army lead, army supply. Oh no, it's even. It's quite even. Wow. So you can see my macro, not the best one. Seriously. Uh, Oversaturation at the natural. Which isn't too good. Uh, no turrets. And I saw the mutalists. Ooh, they are the mutalists. Have to be carefully. Banes are being moved. Banelings, mutalists and roaches. Quite strong. I'm right on top of the banelings. That's dangerous. But all those banelings are crushing on the marines. And without the speed upgrade for the banelings, the centrifugal hooks. I guess it's called. Uh, those Banes did nothing. He waited. If you look at the unit loss, if you can see how inefficient they traded the whole entire game and still on just two bases. And I have to say, the main base will be dry pretty damn soon. He is also not really committing on upgrades. And there's a double drop going on. Oh, he sees it. Ooh, that's. Uh. And now he thinks that's his time. Oh. Uh, Good little mine shots. Um, did also uh, hit some of the marines, but overall, I guess it's fine. Oh, look at that! No! The circlings are again blocking the banelings. He could have gotten so many SCVs there, but. Oh, look at the bunker bike. <laughs> nice! So, over <coughs> overall, he killed a lot of stuff there, but he's still behind the worker. And the medivacs. Oh, there's a medivac. There's the other one. Uh, just four marines there. They might get the screen. Uh, oh yeah, get the queen. <coughs> get a lot of those drone kills back. So now it's looking really bad. That's GG. Okay, and now you know why I'm going for the Hellion Banji. Because there is literally almost nothing a Zerg can do to bust you early on. If you're active on the map, if you see what's coming, if you got your Hellions at the edge of the creep and deny it constantly with the Reaper, that's the only reason for those Hellions to be out. Deny the creep as best as possible and see if an attack is coming. Then you don't have, if there is no third base and in a Reaper or scan and you know what's up, that's fine. If there is a third base, you're fine. And if there are Roaches, you got the Banings, uh, the, the, the Banshee, you can target fire the Roaches or the Banes, uh, counter repair there. And with two banshees you're safe. Then a little bit of split the ring and that's it. It's re really, really that simple. So that was a short one, but even so interesting one. So you saw how you can deal with a uh, bailing bust. Um, you also saw that I went out with the banshees and the hellions. Also my macro wasn't the best because I went up to four banshees. I would say you can stop at two banshees, that's fine, you don't need four, because with two banshees you can target fire the veins through and that's it. Um, then there is nothing left for the Zerg what he could do, possibly. <coughs> and you also saw four banshees did nothing against the Mutalist, so, nah. And it's a lot of gas and minerals you're investing, you're also delaying your <coughs> medivax, so I would say two banshees is enough. Okay, that's it with that. I hope you enjoyed, as always. Thank you very much for watching. I hope we see us next time. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.